for coming out. Uh, well, this is uh, our local legends show. We do this one every Friday. Um, it's, our, it's our signature show. And we, um, before we get too far, uh, let me remind you guys to turn off your uh, cell phones or iPads or whatever you rich people have. And because um, uh, we, can, we can hear all that. Even if it's on vibrate, we can hear you guys. But um, if, uh, there's going to be an intermission. So if you, uh, an intermission, if you want to use the restroom, it's up the stairs and to the right. And if you want to get some, uh, what do they have, coffee here? <laughs> if you want some coffee, uh, they've got that. And uh, awesome, awesome pastries. And I made up in the first show that they had soup. So keep, let's keep that going. Ask for some soup. <laughs> so, uh, but um, we do this every, uh, every Friday. And we have a, a different guest every, uh, every time. We've had uh, authors, uh, singer-songwriters. We've had... Um, people from awesome organizations all throughout Greenville. And this week we have uh, Jerry Sally. He is the um, managing editor of uh, Greenville Journal and uh, Greenville Business Journal, I believe. So give it up for him. Sorry, I'm just nervous. It's <laughs> Jerry Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is his second time uh, doing the show, which is, it's always great to have someone come back and because uh, we get to you know also hear more about them and, uh, and it's great that they uh, they're uh, they're cool you know, they're cool enough to come back. No, no, everyone we have is cool enough to come back, but you know we can't do everybody all the time. So uh, <laughs> that's what I can. <laughs> but um, awesome. Well, it's not just me uh, talking fast and, and whatever and, and mumbling my words. It's, uh, there's a whole other group of people, so give it up for the cast of Local Legends! Yeah. Harrison Brookie, Nina Roper, Mick Pearson, and Ben Burris. Uh, we're all excited, so uh, give it up for Jerry for his very first story. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell any stories about journalism. <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell one, but it'll be later. So I was born in Asheville. I um, have an older brother and sister who are four and five years older than I was. And they sort of had their own thing going on before I came along. And they, they, they were okay with me for a while, while I was a baby. Uh, but when I got older, they started, there was a certain amount of resentment that crept in. So they started what I can really only describe as a, as a uh, sophisticated program of psychological torture. <laughs> and this was like CIA level psyops stuff they did. Like I remember one time they, they trapped me in a powder room and tried to convince me that I had died. <laughs> they said I would be, you know, hollering to get out, and they said, "Oh, that sounds like Jerry, but it can't be him because he has he's departed the world." You know? <laughs> no, I'm not right here. You know, and they can't. And then another time, um, and this was I, I this was right after Christmas, and they did all this after you know after they were old enough to look up look after me when my parents left, which they did a lot for reasons that will probably become obvious later. Um, so my parents had gone, my sister and brother were taking care of me, it was right after Christmas and I had just gotten this red radio flyer wagon that I was really proud of. And I don't know if you've ever, if you've ever done, there's, uh, you could, my sister had discovered a trick where you can spread Elmer's glue on your hands and it dries clear and peel it off and it looks just like skin. So she started doing this and she called me in to the room and uh, said, Jerry, I'm, I'm, I'm coming apart. You better get your wagon and take what's left of me to the hospital. <laughs> it's just really, and I'm still trying to figure out the levels on which that screwed me up. It was a very, <laughs> sort of a brilliant ploy on her part. So there's an axiom called Maslow's hammer, which says that when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And I was a, you know, I was a toddler. I didn't have their, their evil genius. I couldn't really retaliate on the level that they were coming at me. Um, so I was out in the yard once with my sister, and just she had particularly vexed me for some reason. And I looked around, and all I could see 
to strike back with was a, a, a piece of dog poop. <laughs> which I then picked up no. and started to chase her around the yard with it. <laughs> and apparently made an impact because she still talks to it, talks about it to this day. So, <laughs> thus always to tyrants. <laughs> this is my annual address to the people. But I'm not going to talk about king stuff. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the land or the intense things that are going on in our country. Um, you guys heard any good jokes lately? <laughs> I'm here to induct uh, the Aerosmith into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but uh, but I'm not going to really talk about Aerosmith a whole lot. Uh, you guys ever heard of this, uh, this young Justin Bieber guy? <laughs> Dearly beloved, I'm here to bring these two together in matrimony. But I'm not really going to be talking about marriage a terrific lot. I'd like to talk with you about a question that I've asked myself. Where is Pamela Anderson? <laughs> Listen, I know I'm here to deliver this baby, but uh, I'm not really feeling it right now. I was thinking maybe we could just talk, you know? Stop shouting. Yes! I, Moses, have just come down from the mountain and seen the face of God. <gasps> blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm All right, students. Thank you so much for, uh, for coming in to craft class. I'm just go get some more glue, okay? You're doing a good job at the craft class. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to be very, very clear. I have my own thing going on. <laughs> so uh, I need you guys just to do things with the hot glue gun and the flowers. And I'm going to go text. <laughs> Texting. You didn't seem into it today. Mmm. I can certainly find some decoupage glue looses for you. <laughs> oh, I don't know what oh. she's doing with her phone, but it sounds weird. Mm. I can make it just rain glitter. Look at this picture. It's glitter on me. Oh. Mm. She's not even holding it next to her ear. Uh, Miss Anderson, uh, yes, Principal? Look, <laughs> one of your kids wandered off the other day and you didn't notice until the next day when they were absent and you marked them absent. <laughs> I marked them absent with a, an excellent calligraphy A. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. You, you know, your calligraphy is great. I appreciate all those text messages you send me. Did you find the glitter rain? It was wonderful. Look, I, 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 I'm, I'm loving this. It's the best seven seconds you've ever spent. It's, look, but, but Jonathan is lost in the woods. Behind the school. We don't know where he is. I'm going to be real. They were playing with a lot of shiny things. So it's very possible that he is really metallic right now. If you shine some flashlights in there, you will probably find him. This is, this is all right. This is, the this is not a big deal. Oh, this metal's getting into my skin. Oh, I should have eaten all that glue. What's that? <laughs> Maybe it's the metal on the skin or the lack of water, but sure. <laughs> Stop flying away from me, Al. <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa, no. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> son, son, we're so glad you're back at the school. We were really worried about you. Um, I don't mean to alarm you, but seven small owls were dropped off in your cubby. <laughs> <laughs> they look just like you. <laughs> That's a lot of owl money. <laughs> going for a while there, you know. Jerry had found a job oh, and good. Clarissa and Steve were going strong. Sure. I was just like, man, it's too bad I died right then, you know? Oh. Like, there were some dark years where I would have been like, okay, let's get out. But right. things had finally evened out and then it's like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Just die. Just die. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, things were not going so well for my family when I when I died. I was doing oh, just really? the icing on the cake. Oh, <laughs> sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of good because I look down there and I'm still like, 
It is still shitty, and I'm glad I'm up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're oh, not, yeah. like, doing better in life to honor your memory or anything? It wasn't a big turning point, their psyche or anything? You know what's interesting is that math is, is really far more powerful than you would imagine. <laughs> no. So, yeah. no. No, I don't factor into their, their memories very much. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes when they're, when they're sleeping, I like to come over and I, and I nuzzle their, their ears with the wind that I can expel. Yeah, but they probably just think that's the itches, you know. I know, that's the problem. You need to do something more distinct, like, oh, I don't know, drop pennies or something. Oh, that's a good idea. I ladies, ladies, are you done with God's laundry yet? Yeah. <laughs> Peter, this laundry isn't going to do itself. I wish you wouldn't soil so many tunics. That's St. Peter to you, all right? That title means something up here. <laughs> but someone so pure and holy, he sure does leave a lot of tire tracks in his undies. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, well, you know the old axiom. Yep. It's like Gary's giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, everybody whose name starts the letter usually acts like the letter that the animal the they start first, with. It's the first one you can yep. think of from that letter. Mm -hmm. Like V. Victor. Uh, for your name, it's, yep. uh, you know, <laughs> Let's start with yours. It's much oh. easier. B. Uh, Brian. Right. Much easier. Uh, yeah. Bull. Yeah. So bull like. And you're V. It's uh. <laughs> I like Carol. Carol. Right. Camel. Yeah. Totally. So much. Right. Right. And then for you, buddy, totally. Victor. I'm thinking. Yep. Yeah, uh, we all know it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Vackel. It's like a. <laughs> German jackal. <laughs> Watch out for the, the vackle. It's me, Carol. <laughs> Can we get some coffee? I only need one cup a day, though. It gets me a long way. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> You ever heard of a heard of a vackle? Vampire bat? That's kind of what I was thinking. Well, it's like a no. I think vackle. Velociraptor. Oh, well, hey, do we have any more uh, any more creamer in here? Did you use the rest of the creamer in your in your in your coffee? Just like a vackle, right? Oh my yeah. god, yeah. this is so vackly. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing I know, you're going to be goose stepping all over the all place. All right, <laughs> look, look, look. Oh my god. Look, how can you get a cool animal like a bull? You know, I want to be something cool like that. What? Look up, why don't you wiki a vackle? Yeah. <laughs> wiki it up. Because you're not much of a viper. Oh, God, it's all! There's so many cool ones. All right, look, Jonathan's been a real brat recently. All right, that so let's truth. just act like he's not here. Let's act like he's a ghost. That's all right. Not right. right. yet, I want chocolate. I, do, you, do you hear anything? I don't hear a thing. No, no I, I did. I made a noise with my mouth. I said I wanted a chocolate. You know what? I'm going to make myself a drink. Would you like something? I would love a drink. And you know what? Oh, hey, while you're up there, just see if you have time. Mm-hmm. I want a chocolate. All right. I'm going to put on some Buddy Holly. You know what this oh, does to me. Oh, that makes me... Ooh, all right. <laughs> what this go, what's going oh. on? Mom and Dad, I want a chocolate. Jack Daniels. Oh. Cheers. Mm. Oh. I'll make myself a second. Oh, that's good. <laughs> mm. Oh, good, good. Oh, Jack Daniels. Cheers. The chocolate oh, and I'm not that. Oh, goodness. Mm. It was you look, nice. You look great. You look fantastic. No. Mom and Dad. Man, I'm really, I'm really. <laughs> Someone over a dozen roses. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I just want one chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got you some roses. You got me some roses. Well, I yeah. think we should just splatter these oh, all over. Roses please. are a minimum ten dollars each. I want oh. one chocolate. Oh, <laughs> Happy oh, well. Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> Look, it's November. Zip up <laughs> onesie. Oh, 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 nothing sexier than a real woman in a onesie. That's the truth. <laughs> Guys, what? Oh wow. Get your pants off of me. Is this? <laughs> this is. Son of a preacher man, sung by Buddy Holly, isn't it? Oh man. Okay, oh, let's man. all put our clothes back on and we'll just I get the chocolate. <laughs> do you remember when Miley Cyrus was popular? Oh my gosh, do I remember like yeah, the day our son's birth? Too bad he's gone. Now. Too bad he's gone. What? Guess, anyway, you guess should... we'll have to make another. I guess we will. What? No, I just want one chocolate <laughs> and a toy and a pony. That's all I want. You don't even know where I'm gonna stick these roses. Oh! <laughs>
Hope you learned your lessons. I don't know here. what is <laughs> happening in this madhouse. Mm -hmm. We need you to be more mature. Yes. Less bratty. Mm -hmm. And now go upstairs. Yeah, if you home. could go. go. <laughs>